Nicole must be off today. I got to say great day starts right now. <laughs> Good morning, good afternoon. So you've got me all confused. Where are you? <laughs> good afternoon, everyone. Welcome to Great Day, Connecticut. It is 3 o'clock, and we're so happy you're here on this kind of gloomy, rainy Monday. But yeah, but things are going to get better just in time for trick-or-treating. Oh, good. Yeah, and, it's going to be cool. And you get to stay inside and have your warm tea or coffee and just have fun with us. You do Now, you go trick-or-treating, but a 1,000 people come to your house, so how do you manage you know, to do No, I it? don't go anymore. I just stay and, and pass oh, it do, out. Oh, you just you yeah, don't go with the kids? Oh, okay. when, when the kids were little, I had to go and find someone to hold, pass it out. But that right, exactly. Exactly. They don't need me now, and I don't even I don't even know if they're going. Like, they might help me pass out candy. I don't know. They say they want to go at least on our street, but now, I don't know. They're waiting to see what their friends do because they're in high school now. A little old, a little old, oh. getting a little older. Um, they are dressing up, but anyway, I uh, hope you all had a fun hollow weekend. That's yeah, Saturday thing. was beautiful, Sunday not so much. Yeah. All right, so uh, and it, when that came across yesterday, I was so sad, but friends, family, and fans. Are, Saturday night. Uh, yeah, yeah, Saturday night, yeah, We're continuing to mourn the loss of actor Matthew Perry. 54-year-old uh, was found unresponsive on Saturday in a jacuzzi all alone at his home in L.A. His assistant said that she was, uh, she ran an errand, and mm -hmm. in that time, he passed away. Wow. So, you know, it's just... Of course, he, he wrote about his addiction struggles. Yeah, he certainly did, so we don't I know. I think he said he went to rehab about 60 times, and uh, he really shared what he was going uh, or 15 times, I guess. I thought I read 60, but who knows? Maybe it was multiple times. But Multiple times. Um, it, it, so, but he was so good at what he did. They, uh, I think the New York Times said today he had the comedic timing that a stopwatch would be jealous of. Exactly. And, you know, he was talking about uh, alcohol, you know, one of his vices, and that... Um, if you wonder if you're an alcoholic, you probably are. Well, and that and, you know, alcohol was his quote, friend, until it wasn't, mm. and then it turned on you mm -hmm. because it be becomes such a, a, an, a such a problem for your body right. to handle that much alcohol. So it was like, it was the only time he felt good yeah, it was when I he was drinking, good, yeah. and then it was so, it's very sad. Very the whole thing different. is very sad. Anyway, so uh, we haven't heard more, but people have been having a vigil outside the friend's apartment yep. in New York City, yeah. and, and so we don't know anything about arrangements as of this taping, but um, moving on to other news where uh, more celebration is happening for Taylor Swift. She's done it again uh, she has her new re-recorded 1989 yes yeah, she yeah it's a Britney Spears uh, oh, she did it, again. did it again it's a Britney Spears song yes uh, but she made Spotify history in the first 24 hours when 1989 was released it's her version <laughs> and the most it's her streams, world uh, yeah, we're all living in the it most streams in a single day in the streaming services history. Now, that, moving on to our next story Guinness World Records has recertified Madonna as the biggest selling female recording artist of all time. Right, That's so Madonna, the Material Girl still has it. That more, shocks me. More than, well, Taylor Swift is close behind. But again, she's older. She's got more than 400 million albums, singles, digital. I, I would have thought a that. A 40 year career. I would have thought that t Taylor Swift, with the amount that she is selling, yeah. would have surpassed Madonna at this point, no matter how long Madonna's been around. So, it's just Taylor Swift is just unstoppable. Well, they say she's close behind, so I'm sure if she keeps going like she's going, she's going to make it a lot sooner in her life. Now, is Taylor Swift living in a material world as well? <laughs> she's giving a lot of material things away everywhere she goes, but nice. she is a billionaire now, according to Forbes. Unbelievable. So, All right, 40 years after Michael Jackson's thriller, Redefined Pop Music, the documentary Thriller 40 looks like looks at how it was made and what it meant thriller, Kara. Yeah. It defined an era. I so remember this. I remember trying to learn the moves. Oh, I remember my, my parachute gosh. pants and my sparkly glove. Look at this. Do you believe it? Yeah. All right. So it, Im it influenced all aspects of culture and entertainment, dance, fashion. Now this documentary is going to look at like how it was made. We'll see never before seen footage, Where interviews with Usher, Mary J. Blige, Will I Am. Um, it deb debuts September or December rather second oh, on Paramount, Paramount Plus, Plus for Showtime. Okay, I don't think I don't know if I have that. You, you can figure it out. You I get can it. figure it out. Yeah. I'm going to get it. Get your free trial. Okay. Now, what, what did we say, Alex? What was the age of uh, the Janet? Uh, 18 to 26-year-olds say no-mance 
is what they want. They don't want gratuitous. They want wholesome. They don't want gratuitous sex scenes on television or They want television wholesome and good friendships. They want to watch like Friends. Yeah. So uh, a new study from UCLA found that that group of Gen Xers found romance is overused. They would prefer to see platonic friendships on screen. Which I wholeheartedly agree with. A 16-year-old research participant um, says the romance depiction, quote, can give people false ideas of what they should be wanting at that age. Yeah, 16. That's, I mean. Hey, I'm happy as a mom that they say they want wholesome entertainment and positive character relationships. I think that's great. I absolutely think that's, that's terrific. That's why they love Taylor Swift. She's wholesome. So, exactly. Now, Karen <laughs> and I were just talking about this. The New York City's iconic Flatiron Building, which I absolutely love, is about Wouldn't to be transformed. Wouldn't it be cool to have a condo there? Into luxury housing. Yeah. So the owners of the Triangular Tower gonna, announced that, that they're turning it in. Um, and it's going to be $3,000 per square foot. So that's about 40 different residences. Jump change. I mean, I'm guessing for so for 2,000 square feet, which I guess is real, still really big by New York standards, Absolutely. but that would be six million dollars. Absolutely, well worth it to live in the Flatiron Building. Said it's going to take about three years. I wonder what it's going to look like though, like because it's a triangle. It's so, like what shape right. is your house? Right, <laughs> right. Is your house like a triangle? And uh, then it, that's going to be really cool to see. Yeah. I, th I think it's it went empty in 2019. I can't believe it's been empty that long. Well, once they do it, we can all watch on Zillow. We'll get to see the pictures. I would think that would be fantastic. All right. So it's uh, National Candy Corn Day. Before we tell you more about it, do you love it or do you hate it? Thumbs up or thumbs down? Yeah. Okay. It's been around since the 1800s. It needs a revamp. <laughs> it totally needs a revamp. It needs something else. It's, it's sugar, water, marshmallows, and wax. Each. Only three to seven calories per kernel, though. <laughs> uh, no, no, it has three colors and seven calories. More than 35 million pounds of candy corn are made in the U.S. each year. That's about nine billion pieces of this disgusting candy. Yeah, I, don't I, like I, it. I can do I, we, like we, one we or learned, two. Do, if you eat it, how do you eat it? You for sure put the whole thing in your mouth. Totally. Yeah. You, what do you uh, do? You bite it? Well, I do, but we learned that a lot of people, when we did the story with the candy corn experts, a lot of people eat it color by color, either small to big or big to small. I've never heard of this. That's a lot of effort. You know, you gotta like. like uh, wow. You just, you, as our Caitlin producer says, just said, you just said, shouldn't eat it. You just I, shouldn't I mean, eat it. I don't think it has any good flavor. We were talking to Dr. Laura Saunders last week. Yeah. And the light. In her, did you, I think it was. I was off on Wednesday. You were off on for Wednesday. For Mental Health Wednesday. The light in her office looked like a big candy corn. The lamp, the shades, it had three different colors. Okay. It was really cool. So I brought it up. She was like, you're insane. I was like, I know. <laughs> did you tell her you graduated therapy and you need her help now? I did. <laughs> I'm so excited. Okay. Well, we have some really exciting uh, something going on for UConn basketball fans. Yeah, we're giving away four tickets to a men's game. How and exciting. four tickets to a women's game Even every better. day this week. So all you have to do, this is what you do. You're going to enter on our Great Day Facebook page. Just go there, look for Great Day Connecticut. Like us while you're there. And then watch us each day at 3 for the big reveal. Today's lucky winner is George Wallace from Newington. George, congrats. And you've got four more chances to win. So enter now. Watch again tomorrow. Every day we're going to let you know who wins. And you can keep trying and get lots of chances. And then, of course, stay with us because we have more fun when Eyewitness News of 4 begins. I wonder if George is a viewer of the, uh, of the Great Day of 3 show. I, I would hope so. I would hope so, too. Or maybe he's a new viewer. If he's new, well, welcome, welcome George. George.